uh, can you make a video about a third person shooter? Can you control a character with it? Nice tutorial, bro. Uh, can you teach for third person? I want to do like this, but in third person, how? So, and yes, I can do it. Um, so for me, there were three different methods to implement a third person controller via touch. The first one I will call Auto Look. So you just move the joystick and the character will go in that direction you are just pushing and the camera follows automatically. The second one I will call Joystick Look. The second joystick on the right is just for look purposes. You can look around and the uh, joystick on the left will move the character and the character will walk. And the third one is a Touch Look. So the joystick on the left moves the character as normal and you can touch anywhere on the screen and drag around to move the camera. And this is my favorite one. So we will go through all of these three things in one tutorial right now. So I opened this simple demo scene and you need two things to realize a third person controller. And this is a virtual joystick pack. Uh, you can get it from the asset store, the link is in the description. And the second thing you need is a fixed button script. Uh, links is also in the description, it's uh, hosted on GitHub. We start very simple by just adding our asset. So we go to asset, import, package and then characters. And there we go. You will notice that Unity creates a new folder for you that is called standard assets. We go into the standard assets folder, go to characters, go to third person controller, go to prefabs and there we, you will find a third person controller prefab and you can drag and drop it directly into your theme and you are ready to go. So what we want is the camera always on the back of the person. So we will take the camera, drop it onto the third person controller and modify these values a little bit. So X becomes zero, Y becomes three and that becomes minus four. We will leave the rotation maybe, um, or maybe we will set it to 25. Zero, zero. And there we go. It looks very good. We can start and we can already test this with our keyboard. You can use WASD to turn around, to move forward and backward. But that's not what we want to have. So we will uh, create a UI overlay by clicking on UI and canvas. We will set the canvas to scale with screen size and set the full HD resolution as our reference resolution. Um, and then we need the joystick pack. So we go to the joystick pack, go to prefabs and here we will find a fixed joystick. We can drag and drop this onto the canvas and it will automatically uh, be at the right position. Um, we will copy the handle by control C, paste it onto the canvas by control V. And um, is it in the canvas? No, but now. So uh, we will set the pivot to this white bottom corner and you will press Alt Shift and then it will be placed at this corner. We will tweak the position a little bit by setting X to 100 and Y to 100, maybe X to minus 100. It looks better now. The width maybe to 200 and the height to 200. Now it's looking pretty good. So we go back to our third person controller and we create a script called third person input. You can name it whatever you want. But the most important thing is it should be on the same object as the third person user control. Um, let's edit the script. So we will need a few things. For example, a public uh, fixed joystick. This is a, a left joystick. Sorry. And the fixed button, this is just the button. 
Okay. And we will add a public third person user control, which is a control. It's underlined in red here, but we can resolve this issue by uh, adding this using clause and there you will have it. And we have to modify it, this third person user control. Therefore, we go into the uh, assets folder, standard assets, uh, characters, third person controller, scripts, and there you have a third person user control. There we go. And we can edit it by double click it and we will modify this a little bit. So the jump uh, parameter should be public as well as uh, uh, horizontal input and a vertical input. So we should hide these in the inspector so that we won't get confused. And uh, that's it for the jump. That's everything we have to do. Uh, the other thing we have to do is just comment these two lines out because we don't want to um, use the vertical and horizontal axis. We want to use our own axis. So now every V and H is marked or underlined red. Uh, we will change this by just replacing the V with the V input and the H with the H input. Okay, now we have modified our third person user control. Uh, we can just use it in the update loop. So control m underscore jump is our variable that we made public. Now we can assign the button press to it and this should work already. The next thing is control uh, h input for horizontal input and the horizontal input should be left joystick dot input vector x. It's the same with the vertical input. Now we have to assign the three values. Uh, the user control is very uh, simple. We just have to call get component um, third person user control. And there we go. So we can make this protected because we already assigned it. The other two we will assign in the editor. So we go to our third person controller. There we go, okay, no button, no joystick is assigned. We just drag and drop the fixed joystick to the left joystick and the handle to the button. Oh, okay, it doesn't work because the handle doesn't have any button, we should add it. So fixed button script, just put it down on the handle and that's everything you need. And then we are able to drag and drop this. So let's start and let's see if this is working. So we can look around, we can walk around, we can jump. And I think that is everything we need for the first input method for third person controller uh, for mobile. Let's continue with a joystick look. So what we need is a, another joystick. We will just copy the current joystick and we will move the handle a little bit more in the up direction, for example, uh, 350. And this other joystick uh, will be anchored in the lower right. And we will set the position X to 200 or minus 200. And there we go. We have a perfect second button. Uh, we need this button here uh, with a different joystick because it's a white joystick. And then we are able to attach it to our controller. There we go. So the camera uh, must be independent um, from the third person the controller. So we drag and drop it anywhere in the scene. And now we have to modify the camera based on our right joystick. We do this by introducing two new variables. One is a protected float camera angle. 
and the other one is the camera angle speed. And the camera angle um, gets modified by the Y joystick input vector X times camera angle speed. So this will be modified in every update based on the joystick input. Now we have to set our camera. So we um, use camera main uh, transform position to set a new position. And this position uh, should be transform position. So now it's directly positioned on our character. And um, we should add a new vector with our current numbers, which is 0, 3, 4. And this would work perfectly fine, but uh, the camera angle wasn't respected. So the camera is always on the same position. So we have to rotate it with a quotidian. Quotidian angle axis uh, times this vector. And uh, now we have to specify the axis. Uh, we want, it, want to rotate it through um, via the x axis uh, or, the, or the y axis. And um, here the camera angle should be used to specify how far the rotation should go. So, and the camera should always look uh, directly onto our character. So we set the camera main transform rotation to the specific value, which is quotation, quotidian look. And this look rotation uh, needs a forward vector and upward vector. Um, so the upward vector is saying that the camera is always stable and um, has the horizon in the horizontal uh, direction. So that makes perfectly sense. So uh, and it should look at the transform position. So the tensor position is directly the feet of our character. So we have to uh, adjust it a little bit. We want to um, look at the head and the head is around vector up times two. So two times above the ground. And uh, now we have to specify it from, uh, specify from where we are looking. And this is camera transform, uh, camera main transform position. So let's have a look. Okay, there we go. We notice that the camera is now independent. Doesn't work right now, but as you can see, we can already move around. We can um, move backwards, sideways, but the rotation isn't applied. Okay, let's go back to our script. What is missing? Okay, we can uh, should reverse it, so the rotation is not applied. And this um, references to the position and the position is based on the camera angle. And the camera angle is based on the input vector X, which is modified and the camera speed, which is always zero. Yes, and that's a mistake here. We sh should set it to two or three or something like that, depending how fast you want the camera to spin around the character. And uh, for me two is a good value. Uh, it's not too fast. I can, for example, set it to uh, 3 or 10, then you will definitely notice a difference. And there we go, it's spinning a little bit faster. And we can walk. So if I uh, just press up here, it walk, uh, so the third char person character is walking in this direction. I can uh, rotate the camera angle around 180 degrees and push up, and it's uh, the character is um, walking in this direction. For the next one, you need a new script called fixed touch field and the fixed touch field is on the same page as the fixed button. You can download both scripts from the same page and we have to modify our canvas a little bit. So we get rid of the white joystick because we don't need the joystick and then we create a image. And this image we will uh, set by hitting Alt Shift and this button here and it fills the complete screen. We will modify the left value and uh, this is the area that is touchable. So we set the color 
alpha to zero so we can slowly see that we can look through it. Make sure that the handle is underneath the image so that the handle is clickable and the rest of the, um, of the screen is a touch field. So we have to add a component called um, fix touch field and that's all we need. So we can go back to our code and get rid of the white joystick and we introduce a public fixed touch field touch field. Now this will lead to an error here with the white joystick but we can just change it by say okay um, touch field dot touch distance dot x and then we made all the changes that are necessary. I would recommend you to set the camera speed angle to 0 0.2 or something to lower the value a little bit because otherwise it would rotate too fast. So back in our scene, um, we have to assign the touch field to our third person controller. So just drag and drop it, maybe you rename it, or just leave it as it is start we can still walk around and we can drag and drop um, our finger on the screen just to rotate around the character and the character is always walking towards the direction we are looking so that's it I showed you three methods how you can implement uh, a touch third person controller I hope you like it um, if you want to see more maybe um, how you can implement shooting uh, in the scene or something like that then just leave a comment and maybe subscribe and you will get all the videos bye